In episode one of Agamemnon, Clytemnestra enters from the palace, and the chorus leader asks if she knows the outcome of the war. Clytemnestra says the Argives have captured Troy. The chorus leader is happy, but asks what proof she has. A vision, a dream, a rumor? She says Troy was captured the night before. She learned of the victory through the messenger's signal fires. Messengers Clytemnestra organized herself, picked up the signal, and carried it to Argos. She imagines to herself the fall of Troy. Captive Trojans are grieving. Exhausted Argive soldiers celebrate. She hopes the Argives will respect Troy's gods and sacred shrines so the gods won't be offended and harm the soldiers on their way home. The chorus leader tells Clytemnestra she speaks wisely, like a prudent man. Clytemnestra, portrayed here as a smart and confident leader, has led and protected the city in her husband's absence. The chorus begrudgingly admires her, for she has conducted herself, in their eyes, like a man. Haughty, dismissive, and pragmatic, she believes only in the evidence she can control, such as her signal fire system, rather than dreams or rumors. Still, she pays respect to the gods. Clytemnestra is still lamenting her daughter, aware the battle is not yet over. Argive soldiers, having accomplished their mission, are now controlled by luck, and she wants the luck to hold. She does not want the soldiers conquered by gods they might offend if they take advantage of their newfound fortune. But she may be pretending to be optimistic, so the chorus will not detect her scheming. 